Friday weekend, early start. Whew. Been pretty much working all weekend. Um, last night had the cadaver room, so I couldn't film anything. But we're just going to go look at a little Cook's Line unit right now. So let's see if we can get some video of that today. It's supposed to be a little three-door makeup table. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so here's my unit today. It's the true. What do we got? TSSU. 7218. I always just come over and check the stat real quick. So it's pulling in the relay, so the stat's good. So let's jump to the back of this thing and take a look. Right, let's get this cover off here. So we know the relay's pulled in. The condenser fan motor's not spinning. So let's see if that condenser fan motor's a goner and then. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, the motor's still good, look at that. Whoa. Let's get her unplugged. That's why you always go in there with the screwdriver. Because those legs will break off. And you'll mess yourself up, but we got her unplugged now, but look at that. So that means the compressor's overheated, it might even be dead. We'll have to see if it'll cool down and reset. Let's get all this taken apart. It needs the, <clears throat> it's usually a little 3 8 bolt right here you take out and the unit will slide out so you can work on it. it. Looks like the motor mount for that condenser fan came off. Let's see if I can get that all apart and see what we're looking at there. These uh, guys weren't having too much success getting these out so I took the fan blade off and then I could get underneath to get the, the mountings off of there. I'm going to go ahead and replace this motor. Okay, I got the new motor in. Getting the coil cleaned up and then we'll go for the moment of truth and see if the compressor comes around. My favorite part of the day. Hey amigo. Yeah. Tienes una escoba. Yes. Sí. Sure. Okay. Tiene para acá la escoba. Gracias. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I uh, got the condenser fan motor changed out. I'll bolt it back up so it's nice and secure. Put a new one on there. I didn't have too much luck straightening out the fins. Uh, that little area was pretty compacted. I'm just going to let it rip like it is. I worked on it for a bit and I wasn't getting too far. I got my little gauge on here is my static pressure. Uh, wash the coil out real good. Let's see here. I uh, got the broom from the guys. I swept up back here. It was real dirty. Um, so we got that all cleaned up. So keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to plug her in and let's see what happens. Otherwise, we're going to go chase down a compressor on a Monday Memorial Day. Feels like it cooled off pretty good. It's been a while. All right, let's see what happens. Listen for it. Well, it started. Let's see what happens here. Remember, the coil's wet, so the suction pressure is probably going to come way down. Let's see what happens. 
here. Sure that compressor will restart. So let's give that a try here. Okay. I'll pack it all together here and then see if it'll do a restart. So before we plug it back in, I went ahead and put the condensing unit back in and got the fan guard back on. And when these trues are notorious for this, there's you'll see the power cord comes through. And that grommet always comes off. So you always want to check. When you put it back together, you get your little pop-in on. And I'll probably need two. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. I might need two hands. Otherwise, you're going to chafe your wire and have a short. Okay, good. We got it in there with one hand. That's yeah, just a little heads up for the new guys. If you're working on these, always check that. It always comes out. Okay, let's uh, plug it in and see if we're a hero or a zero. Here, if I wanted to, uh, let me get my glove out. I wanted to make sure that it was going to run again. Okay. Doesn't sound the greatest, but it is working. And on these ones, I'll put a big note on the invoice with the compressor overheated and it may fail. You know, a little CYA. And you let your customer know. Go talk to the customer and let them know that compressor could fail. Yeah. 